The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not in the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy. Or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. It's your call, Yasna. Huh. Actually, I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. Nearing the destination. From now on, I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a sidewall collapse. How typical of the Alliance. To destroy everything that's in the... The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful. Of radiation of other people. Just watch yourself. Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. It might well indicate something quite the opposite. Human technology equals radiation after all. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Oh no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place. Not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. 
Maybe take a look around first. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure. Coordinates match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi-autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Uh, yes. Case, they were conducting an inspection before marching out. The antimatter's in an escort mode. The convoy's heading somewhere. Past giant cranes pulling something out of a, well, giant hole. Interesting. I don't recognize that place. Just in case, I've noted down the coordinates. They're getting close to where I am now. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh! They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. Oh, that's a recurring factor, which explains nothing, really. We're going in circles instead of getting you off this planet. <sighs> the photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear in his face. Is there anything actually helpful in those photos? Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether we should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. I'm grateful for that. The situation is far from safe, true. But I've got to do what I've got to do whether I'm scared or not.
One of the anti-mats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming for? A ceasing to protect the convoy. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous fire, Baron, it means big trouble. Panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second anti -mat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate, instead of protecting. What happens next? The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway.
can hear a rhythmic metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's in Arctan. Coming at me. Ha. Huh. Carrying something. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are, how to put it, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruit. is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Bush. Yeah. That's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasna? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. So the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. 
Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes. Have you abandoned your profession? Will you have learned, discovered the search so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. <sighs> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. <sighs> Disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh. I found the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Just one. It's worth checking then.
wasn't difficult. I'm in the rover. <laughs> Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light. Shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> but why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out. Partially, at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. The field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So, all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. 
Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And? I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. Be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And... dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational, probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate, that's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? 
Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. Its registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little probie. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. First, the Energo bot. Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? How about I act according to my judgment? And you patiently await my request for help, sir. Thank you, sir. Is the probe still with you? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere.
just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Everyone here's dead. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Send shivers down your spine. I know it's hard in getting used to the sight of corpses. It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves. Yet, unable to do so. This one man... He... Even eight parts of his suit, trying to survive. onto the hovering transporter. <sighs> Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. really help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Yeah, you'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Submit. They look amazing. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black holes up there in the stratosphere. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself. A group of these flies could be. I can tell you. Yes, yes, sir, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. 